what's up guys welcome back to the channel in today's lesson i'm going to teach you a smart money trading strategy that is going to change the game for you this is a profitable smart money trading strategy and once you pay attention to the details of what i'll be explaining in today's lesson i guarantee you that you're going to see change in your trading and it's going to be a game changer for you okay i'm going to teach you one of the secrets i use in finding good areas i trade from in the financial markets this is nasdaq and this is the two hours time frame so if you look at nasdaq on the two hours time frame this is actually a current price action this is between the 14th of august and today being the 30th of august now if you look at this particular area you're going to see that we have a slow price action right here you see we have this range before the rapid movement to the upside and you see we having the same price action right here where price is slowing down now will you agree with me that this is what you need if you want to trade from good areas and the financial markets and i know a lot of people is going to argue with me let me explain if you understand how the institutions create supply and demand levels in the market you will agree with me that that particular price action i showed you is something you need to pay attention to yes we accept that liquidity is being created in the market when we have accumulations when we have price slowing down in this manner we can actually say that liquidity is being created in the market that smart money is just building liquidity in the market but have it in mind that this is a very good area you could pay attention to the market you should be able to differentiate liquidity areas and where demand and supply zones are being created now in this particular example right now you can agree with me if you have something like this a good trading zone has been created at this point why is this a good trading opportunity if you look at this particular area liquidity was taken before price rapidly expands out of this area yes we had an accumulation area price was building liquidity at this point now after this liquidity was built what you see price do is that price moves to the downside it makes sure that the liquidity at this low has been taken before we have that rapid expansion to the upside now what you need to understand is this some of the most profitable demand and supply zones i trade from price usually take liquidity before the rapid expansion and when price takes this liquidity before this expansion it creates market imbalance that is price inefficiency in the market now if you can be able to spot these particular areas in the market i guarantee you that you're going to see change in your trading career let me tell you now that you see price accumulates price was building liquidity now the sell side liquidity was taken and you see price reacts massively to the upside now you can go ahead and mark this whole range as your demand level if you're looking to trade from here but have it in mind that there is need for zone refinement provided you have price inefficiency during this expansion you can decide to refine your zone to smaller size and you expect price to return back to this your zones and have it in mind that once you have this rapid expansion price creates liquidity and when this liquidity is being created in the market price will usually gravitate back to rebalance this inefficiency so if you've been following me for a very long time you will understand all these concepts these are simple concepts that have been making money with in the financial markets and every example i'm going to use is actually a trade i see in the market if i'm not the one seeing it it has to be one of my students who has been trading with institutional footprints okay i teach what i trade and i don't teach what i don't trade now if you have this kind of price action expect price to return back and how price returns back to this areas plays important role now when price comes back this is where you decide the entry pattern you're going to use to approach the market and once you get that entry you look to trade in continuation to that initial expansion let me show you examples like i said this is nas 100 and this is on the two hours time frame now what did i say you should pay attention to i said you should pay attention to accumulation areas like this where we see price slowing down in movement i said you should be able to identify the difference between a liquidity area and areas where supply and demand has been created in the market now at first if you try to start looking at this particular high although when i was looking at price i wasn't looking at the current price action i'm explaining the one over here we can clearly see that we have that slow price action after price slowed down a little we see momentum kicks into the market and price move to the upside and we have a very good break of structure you see we have a break of this tie but one thing i need you to pay attention to and understand before this break of structure is price took liquidity before that expansion let me show you you see we have good areas we have equal lows at this low if you decide to drop to the 30 minutes time frame you're going to see it better let me try to zoom in so we have this equal lows right here now price takes the liquidity at the lows and you see how momentum kicks into the market and price moved away so this is a clear liquidity sweep 
now when we have this liquidity sweep in the market so what is the expectation the expectation is that price is going to move rapidly to the opposite direction not only moving rapidly to the opposite direction but also leaving price inefficiency behind now you see momentum kicked into the market you see we have some inefficiency we have an inefficiency right here and we have another one right here now if i try to mark the demand zone that was being created you see this bearish candle right here this is our zone and it's a very good area to trade from so that's our demand zone and you see how price comes back mitigates this level and we have good reaction to the upside but i wasn't paying attention to this particular example I explained right now. I wasn't paying attention to it. When I was looking at the price chart, I was seeing price shifting in structure at this particular area. We have a market structure shift right here. So after price shift in structure, which signifies that we're gonna have sign of bearish movements in the market, price is gonna push to the downside. Now, what other confluence do I have? Price takes the liquidity above this high and we have this momentum push to the downside. So when I saw this particular price action, I was paying attention to a zone right here, looking to trade from an other block, because we have another block right here and i marked this particular areas as my liquidity area this looks like equal high so i was expecting price to come back mitigate my supply level then i could look to trade to the downside and i have another place in mind which is a very good area to trade from and if you see we have similar price action we have over here we have it at this particular low right here now let me zoom in and explain so you understand better like i said pay attention to areas where we have slow movements in the markets we have this slow movement and you see how price move aggressively to the downside before the rapid expansion to this upside so this price action i'm seeing right here simply explains that we have institutional footprint at this particular area and if price is actually going to come back for mitigation you see we have a very good demand level which we're going to trade from a lot of people is going to call it an order block so this is the other block which we're going to look to trade from is a very good other block and i hope you can clearly see it if we drop to the lower time frame you're going to agree with me that we have a liquidity sweep let's see the 15 minutes time frame so here is the 15 minutes time frame and this is what you can clearly see in the market you can see that we have the sweep of this particular low before that rapid expansion and not just having the sweep of that particular low we have a mitigation because we can see we have a lower time frame zone right here i hope you can clearly see that we have this zone on the lower time frame price mitigates the zone and we have the rapid expansion to the upside so this simply makes it a high probability trading idea because the order flow is bullish price is pushing to the upside so the best thing to do right now is to wait for price at this particular zone and execute correctly when price returns back to your point of interest back to the two hours time frame so here on the two hours time frame you already understand why we chose this area as a very good area to trade from let me give you some confluence that makes this a high probability trading opportunity you can pick up your pen and make some notes right now what you can see is that firstly we have a good order block and before this order block was created price took liquidity and after price took liquidity we have a mitigation on the lower time frame which signifies that the order flow is still bullish we have this institutional candle that has price inefficiency and we have one more confluence that makes this a high probability trading opportunity we have liquidity area price was building liquidity at this particular high this is a very good liquidity area and now this is the whole trading opportunity i have two good zones and if you can agree with me this particular setup looks similar to the one i used for last week's lesson and if you watch that particular lesson i'm very sure you would have gotten involved in this particular trade and some students actually sent some results to me telling me thanks very much for that particular lesson because they were able to get involved in this particular set up on nasdaq now what you see is that we have two points of interest but the truth is that i was looking to trade from this supply level price couldn't get to that level instead we have that continuation to the downside let me show you you see how price moved away and came to mitigate our point of interest price mitigates our point of interest and we're having good reaction now you see price starts to move away okay now if you took this particular trade you would have made good four percent from the market very simple trading opportunity paying attention to areas of demand areas of supply and you need to go back and learn how supply and demand zones are created supply and demand zones are created after we have slow price action in the market you see this is a slow price action price came back for mitigation a good reaction this one we have a slow price action price came back for mitigation we have a good reaction even though price couldn't continue to the upside but we have a very good reaction now look at this particular area if you look at this particular area you can agree with me that we have another slow price action now price reacted from our zone to that particular high 
now you can agree with me that that level can be able to hold price and you see how price reacted to the downside from that particular area but if i was looking to trade i'm not going to trade this kind of zone because i know i have another point of interest right here which could hold price and this area is going to serve as my inducement area but have it in mind that when you pay attention to this kind of levels you're going to make money from those financial markets and this particular trade opportunity was shared to those on my vip let me show you so these are vip community right here this is the nasdaq setup right here and this is it when price played out you see nas 100 and we already made four percent from this particular area and this is the particular setup when it was shared okay i think we had to set up on nasdaq the very first one which i showed you which is trading from the supply level and price couldn't get to this particular level and this is the second one we had which paid out this week let me show you more example and the second example i'm going to show you was actually a trade from our students let me show you so this is a trade from one of our students this is nzd card i'm going to use it for the second example exactly what i explained in the first lesson i'm going to do it now so this is the second example i'm going to use for today's lesson and this particular trade was won by one of our students which i just showed you now in this particular one you're going to see the exact same thing i was explaining this is how i win in the financial markets and i said if you pay attention to every single detail of this lesson you're going to win in the financial markets now looking at this particular trade opportunity you're going to see that we have slow price action once again now when you see slow price action in the market i said you should pay attention to it if you see something like this where price slowed down and rapidly expands the upside have it in mind that a demand zone has been created there and what other confluence do we have we have a very good break of structure not just having a break of structure we have pricing efficiency pricing efficiency plays a vital role in every trade opportunity i'm looking at if price takes liquidity from that particular area it's a good trading opportunity don't ignore that now looking at this particular area if i'm to select the zone i'm going to trade from you're going to see me select this particular zone right here and this is exactly what our students selected now selecting this particular area um you're going to see that we have the sweep of liquidity which is very very necessary for every trade opportunity now let's go to the 15 minutes time frame and see this clearly now this is the 15 minutes time frame you can clearly see that we have a sweep of liquidity and you can agree with me that liquidity was built at this particular low these are equal lows you see the first touch reaction to the upside price came back retest it again and we have a reaction so every retail based trading strategy that is looking at this particular area we look to trade to the upside once price comes back to this level seeing here as your support level but what you can clearly see is that price takes that liquidity a massive reaction to the upside when you identify something like this after the accumulation area that is after price that have slowed down for some time and there is a rapid expansion agree with me that it's a very good trade opportunity don't ignore that back to the one hour time frame now on the one hour time frame you can see that this is a very good trading opportunity and see how price is returning back to our zone is favorable now all you have to do is place your entry and place your targets and remember you're going to use any entry method of your choice now playing price forward to see how price returns back to this particular area now price mitigates a level and expands the upside and the particular student that took this particular trade his target was this particular area he was targeting this particular high which offered five percent so from this particular low to this high offered a good five percent in the market and i think price moved above that and you see this area offered five percent and if you try to measure the profit target between this level and this particular high this was about eight percent in the market this is a massive trade in the market just like i said all you have to do is to pay attention to areas where we have slow price action that liquidity areas you see in the market look at how price react to that particular area before that expansion we have one more example but before that let me announce our mentorship that is coming up next month our smart money mentorship will be coming up next month now if you're willing to enroll for a mentorship you want to trade with the inner circle all you have to do is to visit our website at www.bondtotrade.com and if you click on courses on our website um it will bring you to this particular page where you can enroll for the advanced smart money course and have it in mind that this mentorship costs for 216 dollars and this is actually a discount price now if you want to enroll you can click on enroll but before that you can decide to watch this guide this lesson right here is going to guide you on how you can make payments and have access to advanced smart money course and once you make payments you're going to be added to a vip community where you're going to interact with other traders both experienced 
and those who are still learning. You're going to meet a lot of good traders in our community. Now, if you want to enroll, click on enroll now. And just like I said, this mentorship costs $216 and this is the original price, which is about $320. This is all you're going to get once you join our mentorship. You're going to have access to advanced math money course. You're going to be part of our weekly chart breakdown. You're going to be part of our support group and you're going to be part of our premium possible setup. You're going to receive that and you're going to be part of our weekly meetings. And if you want to read more, you can click on see more to read more. Now, if you want to make payments, these are the payment methods we have. You can make payments via your bank transfer or, or your debit card right here. And if you want to make payments via cryptocurrency, this is where you're going to make payments. And if you want to read some reviews from those who are part of our VIP, this is some of the reviews. If you want to be part of our community, this is the right time to enroll for our mentorship. Let's see the last example. Now, the last example is also from a student in a VIP. So, this particular one right here, you can clearly see this is on GBP USD. And what you can clearly see is that we have good reaction to the downside. Let me show you on the price chart. Now, this is another trade opportunity from our students. And in this particular example, it's a little bit different, but it's exactly the same procedure. What can you clearly see from here? We have a liquidity sweep after we had this accumulation right here. Price which traces to the downside now moves back to the upside just to take the liquidity above this equal highs now after price took this liquidity we have that rapid expansion to the downside price reacts massively to the downside to break structure now at this point you have to select your point of interest of course you know where you're going to be trading from that particular candle that took the liquidity you have to always pay attention to that and all you have to do is put your entry and expect price to return and you can see we have some inefficiencies which makes it a very good trading opportunity now playing price forward See, price comes back for mitigation and you see how it reacts massively to the downside. But I think price continues to push to the downside and it presents 4%. Now, currently, I still have some students who are looking to trade from this particular area. Some of them are looking to trade from this area, but price is here to get to that level. Price is currently returning to the downside without mitigating the level they are looking to trade from. You see, price came very close to that level and it's reacting to the downside. So let me show you. Currently, Oscar have a trade opportunity right there and is looking to trade from that high. And I think one other person has a setup on that. You see, another student have a trade opportunity on that particular area. But price is here to get to the level. So this is it. And if you look at this particular area they're looking to trade from, if you try to zoom in and read the price action right there, you're going to see that it's the exact same thing I'm teaching is happening in that particular area. You see, we have slow price action before momentum kicks into the markets. And if you notice, we had a break of structure. And if you drop to a lower time frame, you will agree with me that we have a liquidity sweep right there. Pay attention to little details in the market and you're going to see change in your trading style. So that's it for today and I hope you got value from today's lesson. If you're just watching me for the first time, I'm Solomon Wisdom and here is Born to Trade. I teach smart money concepts and how you can become profitable and financially free trading with smart money concepts. If you enjoy concepts like this, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have interest in enrolling for a mentorship, just visit our website and be part of our community. Okay, thanks very much. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next lesson.